This is the second video of the Teach with ArcGIS for Schools training course and it will show you how to create a story map in ArcGIS Online using the new story maps template. The first thing to do is go to Google and type in story maps for ArcGIS. You'll see the ArcGIS story maps come up first so click on this and sign in. When signed in, click Start a Story and it will launch your Story Builder. Once your Story Builder opens, it will look something like this. So give your Story Map a title. So we're going to say a Story Map about Global Earthquakes. And for the subtitle, we're going to type in Teach with Arches for Schools. So we're going to work through the guide that you're given today for the training workshop. Um, and copy and paste the text. We've already built out the text and the images and the hyperlinks and so on. So we're just going to build our story map from this here into here. So we're going to click add image and we're going to add the one home screen image.png for our cover screen. And click open. Once this opens we're going to scroll down and we're going to use the plus icon the whole way through our story to add our different elements like our headings, subheadings, paragraph, videos, images and map. So the first one we're going to add a paragraph of text that we got from our document and we're also going to take this link here which links to the USGS website where we got our data for our map today and we're going to hover over the USGS website text, click link, paste in the website where we got our data and click enter and you'll see the hyperlink over this text here. The next thing we'll do is click enter and we're going to click on the plus again and click map and we'll see the two maps that we created in part one of this training course and we're going to click on the earthquake map. Once the map opens, you'll see the layers here, and you can also edit if you want to make changes in ArcGIS Online. And we're going to click Settings, and we're going to enable the legend, so we'll be able to see the legend for the different information that's on our map. And we're going to click Place Map. Once our map appears, we're going to click the plus again. And this time we're going to click a heading, and paste in what happens in an earthquake. We're then going to click enter and paste in the text about the earthquake. Next we're going to add in an image. So click enter, the plus icon again, image. We're going to add in earthquake and open. And once the image appears we're going to add the caption, impact on the surface after an earthquake. We're just going to continue to build our story so we're going to have some subheadings, so effects of earthquakes, short term effects, long term effects. You can also hover over any text, make that bold, add in links, add bullet points, and so on. Click enter, have another subheading, factors that determine change or down. We're going to add another image, so click the plus image. We're going to add the seismic.png image, add a caption, click the plus. or type in the text. Limiting earthquake. To 
and adding an image. Next we'll add a separate section. So we spoke about the Japanese earthquake that happened in 2011 before and now we just want to make it stand out so we might add in Japan case study for this specific earthquake. So we clicked separator and then it just separated and added in our new heading. And we paste in our text about the Japanese earthquake. Click enter. This time we're going to add in a video. So we add the plus symbol again and we click video. We paste in our YouTube link for the YouTube video on the Japanese earthquake and tsunami. And we can make it medium sized in this example. And as you can see, we've added in text, images, videos, and maps into our story map. So I think we're finish our story map here. So the next section is to add in our credits. So we click heading and credits, which is important to say we got our information from for our story map. Paste. Once our story map is complete, we can click publish. We can decide who we share it with, keep it to ourselves, with our organization or our school, or click everyone if we want to share it publicly. So in this example, we're going to click everyone and click publish story. So it's going to check it for issues. It's going to publish the story. Once your story map is published, it will just open and you can scroll through to see the story map that you've just built. All the different elements in your story map. So once it's published, you can go up and share it through the social media buttons or click and copy the story URL so that you can send it to somebody to view your story um, or you could edit your story again. Paste in the link and somebody can just open your story as you can see.